Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel card. So what do we have for Scorpio please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios for the week. What is the message Scorpio needs to hear for the week please? I like the energy of recovery, you know, that could be health, financial, relationship, call it what you will, but it definitely feels for some of you, you are feeling the light, yeah, lovely energy there Scorpio, let's, let's pull your cards, so I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message as we always do, you know by now, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio, please? 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. Message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you for the week. A few cards here. So I've got Justice. The Moon. Seven of Cups. King of Swords is in your advice from spirit energy and we have the devil in your near future outcome. Interesting. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides. A message for Scorpio. Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles clarifies the King of Swords. And the Devil is clarified by the Seven of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Cups. It feels in this situation, I mean, I've got two cards of Capricorn. You might be dealing with a Capricorn. We've also got Libra, Aquarius, Pisces on the table. Pisces is appearing twice as well. I'm getting the energy of, of wanting to... There's a kind of feeling here, um, Scorpio, of not being treated for your worth, you know. Um, it feels that there's a relationship here where somebody isn't treating you for your worth. You know, and I'm just getting this energy of certainly with that seven of uh, seven of cups is generally to do with hopes, dreams, and wishes, but. It feels in this situation it can be an energy of just not being clear in terms of... It's to do with value. Knowing your value. And it feels to do with a relationship here. I just get the energy that you've been treated poorly there could have been some deception here and it, it feels in this situation you haven't been treated well and I'm definitely getting in some kind of relationship I'm going to clarify the queen and the 
Queen of Pentacles first, please. Let's clarify. Yeah, we've got... <laughs> it does feel that way. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, I'm only saying this because there's it's, it's appearing in the same energy. It feels very specific to somebody. Because the King of Swords is truth. Um, mental clarity. Yeah. And again, the, the King of Pentacles... Oh yeah, oh gosh, yeah. Um, this is an energy. It feels for some of you, some, someone doesn't seem to be acting honestly around you. You don't know if you can trust them. Yeah, I'm definitely getting this energy and it feels to do with a relationship. And you're getting clarity here. The, the message, certainly from Spirit, is trust your intuition you know, on whether you can trust this person or not, because there's definitely an energy with that King of Swords of seeing the truth and getting, and this is seeing the absolute truth with the King of Swords of what this person is about, you know? It, it just feels in this situation, um, you're seeing the truth on whether you can trust them or not. You know, the King of Pentacles, um, we've got Taurus there, Capricorn. It feels to do with a, a relationship, but it definitely feels in this situation you are understanding how you need to move forward. Finally, everything becomes clear. There could be some truth that you're dealing with here as well, Scorpio. But you're absolutely getting the clarity in how you need to deal with the situation. Um, it just doesn't. It just feels like this isn't somebody that you can trust. I have to say, Seven of Swords, uh, the Queen of Pentacles. You know, it just it just feels something that seems. It feels like someone is looking, I mean, this can be a nurturing energy, something that can bring growth. And yet with the Seven of Swords energy, it just feels like uh, this is a deceptive quality. They just don't seem reliable. Because the there is an offer of love coming from this person you know this is somebody expressing their love but there's a feeling of i deserve more i deserve more because something just it feels like they've acted dishonestly or it definitely feels in this situation they don't it doesn't feel like they mean what they say you know, this can be a card of hidden agendas, things going on beneath the surface. It, it feels like whatever they're saying to you, you don't know if you can trust it or not. And I'm definitely getting this energy of someone is offering love here. So there's, there's an offer of love again. It, it just feels like for some of you, you're getting to that point where you don't know if it's for you or not. And the devil is, it can be a card of unhealthy relationships, attraction, powerful attraction. You know, the devil is very alluring, remember, it's very attractive energy. Um, codependency, codependency, addicted, I mean, you can be addicted to people as well. It feels in this situation, this, this relationship, the spirit is just saying, something isn't healthy for you and you need to see the truth. This is where the rose-tinted glasses come off. You know, rose-tinted glasses, seven of cups, hopes, dreams, wishes, um, idealism, daydreaming, uh, you know, it, you know, wishing. You know, it, it, it feels like, it feels like there's an empty promises energy about them. You know, they, they promise everything, but they're not delivering. And they're definitely, I mean, this is a card of love, romance. Again, Knight of Cups is an offer of love. And it feels to do with something that is, that is unhealthy for you. 
something that is not trustworthy, something that will only bring you instability, but something that's very difficult to break free of. And you're being asked to, to really, I mean, the King of Swords is bringing that sword down and cutting cords. You know, that King of Swords is, I'm seeing the truth of the situation now, you know, and it definitely feels in this energy, just somebody isn't good for you. And now the recovery needs to begin because you deserve more. This is a self-worth card in the, in the, in the challenge position. It's all about self-worth. Because I just don't feel you're being treated well. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups, please. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Yeah. Take control of the things that you can control. The magician. Um, the, the magician is somebody who's in their power, who has the resourcefulness um, and the ability, the power to take action and manifest whatever they set their sights on. You know, that it's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to pull another one with that magician because I'm getting it. I'm getting the reversed energy from it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because the, I was getting more of a reversed energy from that card. I mean, you are being told to take control of the situation, you know, step into your power. Um you have the ability to take something negative and turn it into something positive now, to take an idea and make it real, uh, manifest a new path for yourself, because there is definitely an energy of completion here. And the Nine of Swords is just not a nice energy. I just don't like this. I don't like readings like this, Scorpio, but you know, it's there for a reason. I get it, I get it, okay. I get it. It's not worth manifesting. Whatever this is, this offer of love, Spirit is saying this is not worth manifesting because it's only going to bring you stress. Wow. Yeah. See, this is the rod. Um, that the magician conducts uh, to manifest, you know, what they set their sights on. Uh, and this is at the beginning. This is the first numbered card of the Major Arcana. This is the last one. <laughs> it feels I'm going, I'm going from, from the beginning to the end. Not worth manifesting, and that's what I'm getting. It's not worth it. They're not worth it. They're only going to bring you stress, anxiety, upset, worry, and it's not worth it. So, you know, this is about focusing on your recovery. What you see as the beauty of life now, being open to new love, but it definitely feels somebody is coming back in and they're not healthy for you, Scorpio, and there is a need to get off the roundabout completion. I'm not going back. The, the world is a, a completion, and it's a completion where they step through to the next phase of their life. And there's no, generally when the world appears, there isn't going back, you don't go back. They break free of that Saturnian energy of the devil. Uh, so this is about break free, break free. Then, uh, wow, I've not, I don't think I've ever had that reading on this channel before, but <laughs> I'm getting the, the message because uh, I'm just getting, there's no, there's no journey in the middle of this. What you're hoping to, man there's just, don't do it. Don't manifest it. Beginning and end. That is it. So it's only going to bring you stress. They're not worth it. Um, Scorpio, it won't be for everybody. <laughs> it's, it's, um, 
it must be a reading for somebody specific here, but the synchronicities of the cards, the repeats of the cards as well coming out, it's just is something that is not worth your time or effort and you deserve more and that's what you're being told. Get off the roundabout is what Spirit is saying in this reading. Obviously, it won't resonate for everybody because it's only going to bring you more stress, upset and worry. And is that worth your time, you know? Because you deserve more. Wow. Okay. Final message for Scorpio, please. You know, the cards are what they are. You know, I am... Um, It is what it is, and it's meant for somebody, so take it as you will. What do we have for Scorpio as a final message? Oh my good oh my goodness, Scorpio, there's there is something karmic about this reading. You know, horse, free spirit. Give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity, but you're being told free yourself, okay? free yourself from this person my goodness uh see the truth take the rose tinted glasses off and don't go back and that's what you're being told because they're going to become keep on coming back uh playing on your insecurities playing on you know uh instability uh, playing on and controlling you like a puppet on a string you know and there's definitely an energy of breaking free of this attachment in this reading so I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Scorpio, and I will see you next time. Thank you.